Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to Maui Craft Kitchen. Today, we're going to learn a recipe that is considered fairly easy by most, chicken and broccoli alfredo. But it isn't the dish that's the hard part. Today, I'm going to start teaching you how to actually cook. Up until now, I've been giving you exact measurements down to the gram. That's fine if you have the time and have a scale, but what if you don't? What if you just want to start throwing things together knowing that you're doing the right thing? Well, get your culinary thinking caps on, because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Okay, my local supermarket did not have heavy cream, so I'm going to show you how to make heavy cream with butter and half and half. Start with a pot of boiling water. Turn the heat off and put a bowl over the pot. Take one stick of butter, roughly a quarter pound, and place it in the bowl until it's just about fully melted. Now all of this butter may seem a little extreme to you, but heavy cream is 40% butter solids. This means that it is literally 40% butter. So we need to raise the butter percentage in our half and half. Once the butter has just about completely melted, we're going to add in the half and half and continue to whisk until thoroughly combined. If your butter starts to clump, no worries. This just means the cream was a bit cold. Give it a minute and it will smooth out as it warms. That's it. Remove from the heat and set aside. Here we go. You didn't think I was gonna forget about Rod the camera guy, did you? Many mahalas, my friend, many mahalas. So over here, we have a pot of water getting ready for pasta, cause this isn't going to take that long at all. First thing, take about a half a pound of chicken, cut it into strips and salt it. A little bit of cooking oil in the pan over medium-high heat. Lay your chicken in the hot pan, salted side down. Salt the other side. Continue to cook until they're about halfway done. If you are using dried store-bought pasta, you will want to get it into the water now. Once they are about halfway done, we will flip them and rearrange them as necessary. Continue to cook until almost done. Move the chicken to the outside Add the broccoli, tossing it in the oil. Cook for just a minute longer. Make sure you have enough cooking oil in the pan and add about a tablespoon or so of minced onion. and about one clove of minced garlic. Sweat these for just a minute. Add some of the heavy cream that we made earlier, maybe three quarters of it or so. A bit of salt. Fresh cracked black pepper. How much depends on how much you like black pepper.
Stir that together and reduce it until it just starts to thicken. It is very important to taste everything as you go or you won't know what it needs. Once the sauce has begun to thicken, you're going to start adding the grated Parmesan. Maybe about three to four ounces or so. How much is up to your taste buds. Turn the heat off under your sauce and drop your fresh pasta into the water. If your sauce seems too thick or looks a little bit oily, just add a splash of heavy cream and stir it in. Once your pasta is about three quarters of the way done, you're going to transfer it into your sauce. Coat the pasta with the sauce and cook over medium heat for another couple of minutes or until your pasta is done. Don't forget to taste your sauce to see if it needs any more salt or pepper. Once the pasta has cooked and taken on the sauce, just start to twirl it on your tongs and then slide it onto the plate. Pull the rest of it out and pile all of those goodies right on top. Look at what you just made. I am so proud of you guys. This looks absolutely delicious. See, I told you that you could do this, but don't forget to have some fun with it. Replace the broccoli with some spinach and toss some sun-dried tomatoes in there for another great variation. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. I can't thank you all enough for watching. Many mahalas and much aloha.